Working in Sections, Elevations, Modifying Multiple Morphs Creating a Morph in Sections and Elevations Morphs are 3D elements even when they're created in a 2D viewpoint. In some cases, it's better and easier to create them in 2D, either because of the view or the complexity of the desired shape. Let's see how we can create a simple rooftop geometry in an elevation view. Open one.story from the navigator by double-clicking on it. The morph we create will use the vertical plane defined by the elevation viewpoint. Let's drag the east elevation marker and the view itself at the same time to the right side of the building. Select the elevation marker and drag it by either using the drag command of the pet palette, the control plus command plus D hotkeys, or the move drag command of the context menu. When placed, use the Open Elevation command from the Context menu with the marker still selected. Activate the Morph tool and choose Polygonal Geometry Method. Start drawing the polygon from the top right corner of the building with the values of 2700, 6000, 200, and 1,500, respectively. And as the last point, click the starting corner to close the polygon itself. Keep the Shift key pressed to maintain perpendicular directions and move counterclockwise. Deselect the polygon and press F5, Fn plus F4 to go back to 3D. Select the polygon and extrude it by 4,000. Modifying all edges simultaneously. We can simply modify all edges of a face or even the morph itself. We'd like to use this method to create an attic wall on the rooftops and terraces, but avoid overlapping geometries. Again, Let's unify some of the existing morphs first. Select the building and the roof extension, excluding the plinth, and apply the union command from the context menu, Boolean Operations. Pick the top plane of the roof. Select the morph, and click one of the edges of the roof face to make the pet palette appear. Change the editing plane to horizontal if necessary. Choose Offset All Edges and press Alt to create copies of the edges. Move the cursor inwards and define a value of 400. Press Enter. Now repeat with the curved extension. Pick its top plane. Change the editing plane to horizontal if necessary. Use Offset All Edges and copy the edges inwards. Move the cursor inwards and define a value of 400. Press Enter. With the final morph selected, click on the edges that are duplicates along the roof extension and at the curved part. Use Offset Edge to push them into the vertical surfaces, making them disappear. Select the two polygons along the edges of the roofs with Control plus Shift plus Click. Extrude them together upwards by 500 in a single step. We can either copy the existing edges of the terrace to achieve a similar result, or draw a completely new edge using the Add Polyline command of the pet palette. Let's see how the latter one works. Let's create guideline segments, 200 from the outer terrace edges. Select the Create Guideline segment from the Guidelines menu of the standard toolbar. 
hover the cursor over the upper right corner until a blue circle appears, and move the cursor to the left. Type 200 and hit Enter. Click the opposite edge perpendicular, as the snap guides indicate, to finish the guideline segment. Repeat these steps to create another guideline parallel to the longer terrace edge. Select the morph and click the Add Polyline, Rectangle, Box, Revolved Morph command at the pet palette. Select the rectangular creation method on the info box and draw a rectangle from the upper left corner to the intersection point of the guidelines. Select Remove All Guidelines from the Guideline menu to remove the guidelines. Select the face only and use Push-Pull to extrude it upwards by 1000. Any elements of the project can be converted to morphs. Simply select the elements and choose Convert Selection to Morph or Morphs from the context menu. This way, all elements can be freely edited. However, they cannot be converted back to their original element types.